6,115 miles. What does this mean? Well, this means that is how far it takes for Mark to travel from his village in Guam to here to Pepperdine. Mark is from a village in Guam where he lives with his mom, dad, two sisters, pet dog, and fish. You would think growing up in a remote island would be a lot different than growing up here. Well, other than living on island time and the amazing sunsets, he's had a very similar upbringing than we had. But what sets Mark apart is his talents and his hobbies. Mark loves producing and studying music, playing the percussion for the official band of Guam, and he started the very first basketball team at his high school. Mark enjoys producing and studying music. He makes his own music, audio, does audio engineering, and he manages the frequencies. And yes, it's that impressive as it sounds. His favorite type of music is jazz, funk, and orchestra. But when he's not producing and studying music, he's playing music. Mark really enjoys playing the drums. And you guys all missed it. I was going to give him a little shout out on Tuesday, but his little music group that he's in, Word Up, played at the sandbar on Tuesday, and he absolutely killed it on the drums. But his love for music started way before he came to Pepperdine. Mark's been a part of the official band of Guam since he's been in the eighth grade. By the end of the year in his eighth grade, he became the lead percussionist. Mark has gone on to play over 400 concerts and even played at Carnegie Hall. But when he's not playing music, he's composing. Mark now composes for the uh, marching band. But Mark is a man of many talents, and when he's not playing music or producing, he's playing basketball. Mark started the very first basketball team at his high school. Mark was in a class of 50 kids, boys and girls, so he wasn't really with him as much. He, he gained a couple of people, and he was working with kids who have never played basketball in his life. But Mark put the team on his back, and he's the leading scorer in points, rebounds, and blocks. But if that wasn't enough, Mark is also an aquarium enthusiast. Mark has four aquariums at his house that are live, functioning ecosystems. Mm. And when he's not doing that, he's tending to the self-made pond that he made in his backyard. Mark's favorite fish is the Bosmani rainbow fish, and he takes great pride in what he has done. I think Mark, after getting to meet him, he's talented, interesting, has a bright future in the music industry, maybe not so much basketball, but he is very <laughs> talented. I've been very fortunate to gain a new friend from Guam, and hopefully one day I'll be able to travel there as well. Thank you.